All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to master audio on Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you the exact methods I use uh, for my professional videos. In this case, let's start off with kind of editing a single audio clip. You can go over to your effects controls and you have control over the level of your volume right here by increasing or decreasing the volume. I found that two dBs for this clip is around perfect where it doesn't exceed and it's just loud enough for the audience to hear. So that's how you edit one single clip versus let's say you wanna edit all of them at once. You can edit a specific audio level, audio level one, all at once if you guys go over to your audio track mixer. Up here, you can see that I have control over editing specific things on every single level, all the way up to eight tracks I have on this specific timeline. And audio level one is specifically for my narrations for this documentary. And I implemented Amplify on it. You can hear the difference with my voice if I increase or decrease it. A paradise where time seems to swim. And the rhythm of life is harmonized with the gentle sway. So you just wanna be careful just not to uh, go into the red or exceed those limits. I found that 13 dBs uh, with amplifying my voice was perfect for this video. The next thing I wanna show you is dynamics. I apply dynamics to all my clips because it has a limiting feature. If you click this button right here, it limits the clip and you can limit to wherever you want to a threshold and I put mine at negative 2 dB because I don't want it to exceed into the red past the zero. I also apply some makeup to the clip and these are just settings that I've seen other YouTubers use and it just kind of gives your, your audio that extra edge and a kind of a fail safe to make sure you don't exceed the volumes. So that is on all my clips versus the last one I'll show you today is just the parametric equalizer which I think at some point we can all agree that uh, maybe our voices don't sound as great as we uh, thought we, they did. Uh, we all want that David Attenborough voice. Um, and that's kind of what I go for when I edit my videos. They're more nature-esque, uh, National Geographic, if you will. And I like to kind of have that dramatic voice. So I use a vocal enhancer to sound more professional or kind of more enunciation. There's a lot of different features you can add on here, so test them out. Um, there's definitely some weird ones in there like old time radio uh, voice, but for me specifically, vocal enhancer is exactly what I'm going for. And I just use the default settings, which work out perfectly. So I'll show you exactly kind of what I mean by how it affects my voice. I'll solo audio one, which basically means that that's the only clip you will hear. So let's see what it looks like when I have that one on and off. Time seems to slow down and the rhythm of life is harmonized with the gentle sway of palm trees and the harmony of tropical birds. This is a land where the very essence of it definitely makes a difference, I think, with my voice, and I encourage you guys to try out this feature and see if it works for you. The next thing I want to show you is kind of transitioning with your music. That is definitely one thing that differentiates kind of amateurs versus professionals, is making sure you have clean audio, it doesn't overpower anything else, and that is really important when you guys are transitioning. Let's say I have chapter two right here so i have to transition from a different kind of vibe different music to different aesthetic and i have to go into a whole different song from this one which is titled up here and then i have to transition to this one so how i do that i'll kind of just play it an example for you guys first and i'll kind of walk you through exactly how i use transitions with my audio let the spirit of costa rica's piero vida fill your soul and may you too discover the art of living in its purest form. Beyond the so you can see how I transition from one song into another. And believe it or not, the actual sound effects of the, the traffic was not natural. I added that sound effect as well as kind of that electric sound you were hearing with the audio. 
But basically on all these clips, I try to use markers. And what I mean by that is if you go to back up to your effects controls and your level, you can uh, set markers, keyframes, as they call it. And you can see right here on this clip, I'll zoom out a little bit right here. Uh, if I go to the left, there's a marker right there at negative 10 dBs. Going to the left, it looks like it's increasing the volume. And then increasing again up to zero. And then over here I have it negative 40. So basically it kind of comes in real quiet. And then it gets louder and louder and then goes back down to being quiet on the end. If you guys don't remember specific numbers or you don't know what is exactly right, you can kind of just pull these parts down right here. And if you zoom in, you can actually just pull these down with your mouse and set specific markers yourself. So find out which one you prefer, whether you like to pull these down or whether you just kind of, you can set it up here manually. That is a real key feature to keep in mind when editing professional videos. And lastly, I just kind of want to show you guys the big picture. When it all comes together, you, you can see all these different audio levels uh, at once through that audio track mixer. So let's take a look at it. Let's see how it works out. And this is kind of when I go through and just double check for mistakes, make sure my audios are all perfect. They're not overpowering each other or exceeding the limits. This is kind of what the view I go into. I back up to my audio track mixer, kind of scroll down here, and I can see all eight audio levels. Let's kind of watch this transition right here and call it a day. As we venture into the Arnold Volcano National Park, we are humbled by the rich biodiversity that thrives in the shadows. So that is exactly how you master audio, all the way from one single clip to all of them at once, all these different features in your audio track mixer that you can apply. Now you have the basics to mastering your audio. If you like this video and you found it helpful, hit the like button and definitely make sure to subscribe. And if there's any videos you guys want me to create to show you how to do things on Adobe Premiere Pro, please uh, leave a comment in the section below and I will help you out.